being able to to be in nature is yeah it's huge it's it's kind of where i get my energy from i think and i get some kind of restoration and balance from it but to to be able to be on jump in the ocean and and sit on the beach and all that stuff is uh it's like a yeah it's everything kind of you know that's why i like live here i think to live in a tiny place and you make sacrifices and um, pay way too much rent and live in neighborhoods you can't afford but it's all because of the proximity to like you know to be able to jump in the water and like it, it's it's uh that's that's why you know i should be living in arizona otherwise you know but I think the wheel drew me in because it was really challenging. It's something kind of like surfing. When you start, you, you're terrible, and you're, but you're trying to learn, and you see people that are better, and you're like, oh my gosh, could I get to that level one day? And then also, just like surfing, every time you're doing it, you're like having a lot of fun. It's not like, oh, this sucks until I get to there. You're like, the whole, the whole journey is, is cool, you know? And then I think the movement of it, something about like, the, you gotta get lost in the movement where, but you kind of get into this like, vortex of moving and, and the clay and, and something about that was just like, um, I don't know, it just drew me in, you know? I mean, surfing for me is something that, I mean, it's like a, this lifelong endeavor, you know? It's not something that just like pops up for a little bit and it's, uh, it's like good and bad. It's, it's hard and like excruciating and also like gives you so much joy and um, it's something that balances me and it's kind of an addiction and um, it's a blessing and a curse. <laughs> I don't know. It's like you get addicted to surfing and it like runs your life, you know? Like you look at the life that I'm leading right now, it's all because of surfing. The job that I choose, chose to get and it was all based about trying to have time to be able to surf when it's good. But you make sacrifices to be a surfer if you, uh, if you really want to kind of do it, you know? And I think it's something that you can't do halfway. You kind of like, you either you do it or you don't. And if you do it, it's like all kind of all encompassing. And you know, my wife would, would rather me not be a surfer most days, I think. The surf culture here is pretty, it's a huge deal, you know, and it's, um, it goes back for quite a long time. There's a pretty rich history of surf culture in San Diego and, you know, some of the early guys that were going to the North Shore and surfing out there were from here. And so there's just like deep roots. So I just have a lot of respect for it and always did. And it's a pretty closed community. It's not something you just kind of walk into and expect to have it be, uh, you know, it's not for everyone and it takes a lot of, um, I think if you show a lot of respect and, and with a lot of time, you can, you know, kind of um, find yourself to be a little bit a part of it, you know? Yeah, so trying to kind of figure out what you want to do in life. I was, after college and stuff, it was all based on having time to go surf and having freedom to surf, you know, and not doing a nine to five. So to be able to do Ceramics as work is, is, I feel like I'm cheating almost a little bit and to be able to surf when it's good and, and come back in the studio and, and be in a, a little bit of my creative zone and listen to music and um, get lost in that process, it's, uh, it's pretty, pretty perfect for me, you know? I'm Joe Scoby and uh, live in San Diego and I'm a ceramicist and uh, try to surf as much as I can too.